Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'll be talking about a movie called Torture Chamber. And you know, there might be a lot of horror movies with this title, Torture Chamber, or Torture Chamber something. This is from the year of 2013. And it, I think this is a mix between Italian and American horror. But this movie does have Vincent Pastore and Lynn Lowry. Lynn Lowry you may recognize in other horror movies. And Vincent Pastore, of course, you see his face. I, know, I think he was in Sopranos, if I'm correct it. You know, because he looks, he does look familiar though. I never watched Sopranos, but I think I've seen his face in the Soprano trailer or whatever. Um, this movie is getting a lot of bad reviews because I was just curious what, what was this movie about and some reviews on it. And um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm gonna be the one to defend it because this movie kind of gave me like that B movie Italian expo Italian exploitation type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like those those B movie Italian movies. Back in the days, how they do their movies and how the style it is, so I kind of like defend it for that reason. But I found myself saying this was like to me another okay watch type of movie. It's not a great movie. It's not a perfect movie. Um, this movie might not be for everybody. People might go to sleep, but I'll give credit for what it is because at least you get kill scenes, you get stuff going happening around like fast paced stuff. So I'll give credit though, you know, when when it's due. Some some people like. Don't like slow burn horror. I don't feel like this horror movie was really slow burn, you know, in my opinion. But um, the movie's about this boy and his family trying to ex ex exercise his demon out. And you'd be wondering, like, as the story goes on, like, is this boy really possessed by a demon? Or is he, like, maybe a mutant with demonic style powers, maybe? You know? And um, the boy, and the movie goes back and forth with flashbacks about this kid, how he was in the institution, he was picked on, and he had an accident that that, that was his face ended up being burnt out, burnt, burnt. Um, he had family issues, you know, his family. Um, so as the movie progressed, you know, you find out that this boy is loose out of the institution, and he wants to kill people that cause him his pain in, in his own way. And he has his power to control children of the town, to do his bid by kidnapping, killing and torturing his victims with his army of evil children. Um, it takes up to a detective and a priest to try and stop stop this kid. Um, all in all, I thought this movie was like another okay watch type of movie. Like, it's not like great or nothing. It's not like you're going to run to it to watch it a second or third time around. But I, it just to me, this movie just gave, that, gave me that Italian exploitation B-movie vibe, you know? Like, like I said, if you watch those 80s movies from the talent cinema, then maybe you might like it for what it is. Um, the ending is kind of like a talent horror type of ending, you know, or any other horror movie ended. But I say try and error, but check it out anyway, because, hey, I saw it on TV for free. And again, like I say, when you watch something for free, and you guys sit through the ads, you can't complain about it that much, right? Anyway, have a good night, everyone.